Hello and welcome to Light Warrior Radio. I'm your host, Dr. Karen Kant, author of the number one best-selling book, Sensitivity is Your Superpower, How to Harness Your Gifts and Fulfill Your Purpose and Create a Life of Joy. And today I have with me one of my favorite people on the whole planet, and I gotta tell you why. Because uh, David Schmidt, I've known him for, well, gosh, 17, 18 years now. And when I was first introduced to some of the products that he's made, these phototherapy products, I gotta tell you, I was really suspicious. I didn't know him, first of all. And another doctor presented them to me and he said, oh, I hear you have these chronic issues. I think this, you could use this. And immediate, I'm looking at these patches going, I don't do drugs, right? And he goes, no, 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 it's not like that. It's like light. And I'm like, how do they work? And he's like, I don't really know, ask my brother. <laughs> so I did, you know, I talked to Rob Styler and got this spiel and I said, okay, no drugs, fine. I'm willing to try it for three months. He said, yep, sign up for silver and try it out. And I went to all, you know, some of the different, uh, you know, webinars and I thought, okay, I, sounds interesting. So I, I started trying him and within a few weeks, it was funny because I finally had gotten better from my illness enough to go to a competition in skating. Um, and uh, I, I really didn't know how I was going to do. So I didn't know a lot about these patches either. So I just wore them for skating, note to self wear them during travel that would have really helped you Karen but I wore them during skating at the best skate to that point in my life I have several better after that in my life I was like okay there's something to this everyone here is like oh the altitude's really bad and I can't breathe and I'm like those guys are crazy what's the problem right and I forgot I had patches on and so I won a gold medal for the U.S. Uh, didn't even know that I was even going to get close to doing that having the diagnosis that I had and then after that, I, everything that David created, I was like all ears, like what's he created now? I got to try it. And then when the first studies came out, I think the first one with Dr. Nazaran, the HRV, heart rate variability, uh, I had just learned about heart rate variability. So again, I was all ears and was so impressed by the research. Now that's come out so many years, so much research. Um, so uh, let me tell you a little bit more about David for those that are brand new uh, to my channel. So he's an inventor and a business person best known for being the CEO of LifeWave, the company I'm talking about. He's a, it's a popular health and wellness company. He founded the company in 2004. I came in in 2005 uh, in an effort to help customers lead lives that could tap into natural rejuvenating powers of their own bodies. And I'm all about self-healing, so super exciting stuff for me. So he received his formal education in management information systems and biology at Pace University in Pleasantville, New York, not that far from me, before moving on to a long career in anti-aging and regenerative science. That's what we're going to talk about today. During his career, before he started LifeWave, he worked on numerous innovative designs Designs, such as a new process for creating oxygen and hydrogen, as well as designing and prototyping multi-fueled bladeless turbine power generation systems. Wow, that's a mouthful. The main offerings from LifeWave are based on the design of patented phototherapy patches invented by David. These patches, when applied to the skin, reflect light back into the body and are able to initiate a number of pretty impressive health and wellness benefits, such as elevating certain peptides known to be important in overall health and increasing energy production. So David, that was a very long intro, but <laughs> thank you for being here. I know you're a super busy guy. I really appreciate you for being here. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. And uh, really looking forward to our talk today. Yeah, same here. Same here. Well, you know, um, it wasn't until that recently that I realized that you've been into anti-aging for quite some time. I know you worked for the military for a little bit, but this anti-aging, tell us about your background and why you're so interested in anti-aging. Uh, I'd have to blame my Italian relatives. So I had very unhealthy Italian relatives that like to, uh, my grandfather on my mom's side, uh, liked to smoke, he liked to drink, uh, he was a fireman, uh, and God bless the firemen. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, you know, growing up as a kid in New Jersey, I'd go uh, with my parents and we'd spend time with our relatives each weekend. And I thought, uh, this is what is at the end of the road is, you know, not good health, you know, being stuck in a chair, can't walk very well, Parkinson's, mm -hmm. uh, can't breathe, can't exercise, you know, these type of things. And something inside me, you know, seven, eight, nine years old said, I I'm not going to become that. Mm. that. That is not what I want from my life. And um, 
So I began to investigate and uh, read everything that I could uh, from that point forward on health, nutrition, exercise, uh, you know, to uh, self-educate uh, about, you know, what were the options. And then I might have been about 15 or 16 years old, and uh, I saw uh, Dirk Pearson on the Merv Griffin show talking about his book, uh, Life Extension, that he had written with Sandy Shaw. And I was like, okay, there is a way uh, to extend life and and retain youth. Uh, you know, then it was, you know, mega dosing on vitamins, but 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 there was, you know, all this interesting research. So um, I've, I've made a lifetime now of study at, of looking into these mechanisms and uh, it, it's gone extraordinarily far, extraordinarily far. Um, we have definitely shown effects beyond anti-aging in, in the category of age reversal. So I'm more excited now than ever before uh, that what we are going to see in our lifetime are uh, products and technologies for reversing uh, not only part of aging, but I believe we'll uh, stop aging altogether. Wow, that's exciting. Yeah. We know from like pre-biblical times that supposedly humans lasted a heck of a lot longer than they do now, even possibly thousands of years. Maybe there were different genetic humans, but but it's very interesting that we have this kind of stop date, <laughs> you know, yeah. somehow programmed into us. Yeah, you know, the Bible actually gets pretty specific about that. And not this year, uh, but starting next year, I'm going to be uh, speaking a lot more about biblical codes. And uh, kind of to get to the end of the story is I was doing research on lobsters and I found a mathematical code in lobsters that's directly responsible for why they don't age. So there's lobsters that have been found that are 132 years old, and yet they, they're still very youthful and strong. And so uh, we were doing research here, not only on lobsters, but on ants, uh, on planaria, hydractinia, investigating species like tardigrades. And we want to know why do these organisms defy aging? And uh, while we were looking at the biochemistry, I was also in investigating the biophysical aspects of this. And, uh, and so I discovered this code. And so maybe a year or two after that, um, I was taking a Bible study and I saw the same code in the book of Genesis. Uh, and the code shows up when you use the original Hebrew and you use gematria and you convert Hebrew over to numeric, uh, numerical values. And I said, okay, the, as soon as I saw the numerical se sequence, I got out my calculator and I pulled out my notebook and I started going through everything and there was an identical match. Wow. So, the, the, so the, the implications to this are that number one, um, there is a way to create tech so that human beings can defy aging. And number two, God, the creator, uh, put his fingerprint into design. So we know that nature and the world around us and human beings it's not an accident we were at we were actually created and uh, there is a creator and uh, that to me is incredibly exciting oh my gosh yes well i had gone to the consciousness conference uh earlier in the year which i think i told you about with greg braden and bruce lipton and some of the yeah. other uh, uh nasim haramine and uh Greg was talking about the God code and he was talking about, hey, you know, doing all the math and everything like that, that the DNA actually has the name of God in there. And we can actually resonate that through Jonathan Goldman did some work with him, very yeah. famous, you know, uh, musician where we tone Iaue, uh, and, and that vibrates, you know, exactly what's in the DNA, you know, numerically. I'm obviously saying this very fast, guys, so read the book. <laughs> Because yeah. I'm not going to explain it more, but I think it's so cool that in parallel to that, you know, your your discovery uh, of, of this, you know, looking for the anti-aging code, if you will, uh, is really, really fascinating. Just well, fascinating. I'll, I'll give you a little tidbit here. I'm not going to say exactly how I did it, but, I'm, but I will tell you this. Uh, so in looking at Bible codes and then starting to correlate these things with what we had discovered on turning off and or turning on uh, sequences in the mitochondria that could lead to these age reversal effects. 
one day, you know, in prayer, I was thinking, um, what about literally the words tree of life or the tree of life? I wonder if there's something in there. So I went and I got the uh, numerical value for the tree of life, which is 179. And uh, I started playing around with those numbers. And sure enough, uh, as it turns out, if you do it, if you calculate it the right way, uh, that numerical sequence turns on the mitochondria. Mm. Uh, so even in the Hebrew uh, word for uh, tree of life, there's a numerical code that can upregulate mitochondrial function. And then we would say that is absolutely linked to favorable changes in uh, gene expression. Uh, you know, it's an epigenetic factor, which is going to lead to uh, age reversal. So even that is in and of itself is really fascinating. Oh, absolutely. That is fascinating. Yeah. Now, I know you've been studying stem cells for quite a while. Uh, I didn't I didn't know too much about honestly. I mean, I know I'm a medical doctor, but, you know, we didn't there wasn't much we could do <laughs> in medicine. It's like, yeah. yeah, well, in embryology class, you have these stem cells and then they become other cells. And, you know, the stem cells can make any other cell. And my question was like, well, why don't they just make somebody a new knee? you know, or a new heart. And I, now I can understand why it doesn't happen. But back then I was just like, yeah, whatever, you know, but <laughs> tell us about your kind of foray into stem cell research. Yeah. So stem cells, of course, unbelievably exciting. Uh, the things that we have to look forward to is I, I would say in the short term, uh, let's say that someone has a bad heart disease, uh, they have kidney failure, in the short term. And what I mean by that is, uh, let's say within 10 years, uh, the technology exists today. Uh, it's a little dangerous uh, and it needs to be refined. But uh, quite literally, what we can do today is we can take, uh, let's use a human heart. Uh, we could take a human heart and freeze it and use a laser to slice it into sections, photograph each section, assemble it into a computer. Um, and you've got a 3D model now of that person's part. Uh, and then you print it on a 3D printer in collagen. You now insert that heart into the human being, inject uh, pluripotent stem cells, and now the cells start to divide into heart cells. So the person gets a 20-year-old heart that's theirs with no wow. anti-rejection drugs. So that to me is really exciting. Um, you know, the, the other side to this course, you know, the type of technology that that we look at and develop. Uh, I've got one of them that I'll, I'll pull up here in a second um, is looking at how could we, you know, regenerate a uh, limb uh, so people don't have to use robotic limbs. Uh, how could we uh, regenerate a damaged liver or kidney uh, so that an organ transplant isn't necessary? And mm -hmm. we found some very novel ways of upregulating uh, uh, muscle protein synthesis, tissue synthesis, right? And so uh, I'll pull this out. So what got me interested in this and eventually what we developed uh, at first was this device here, uh, which is a novel way of generating a blend of electromagnetic and longitudinal fields. And uh, it's this blend of uh, these two different types of fields that leads to the efficacy. Um, and it's very important to use this in a environment without 5G, mm. um, uh, which is getting more and more difficult. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So the, definitely 5G has some deleterious effects on, on human beings. Um, but in any case, uh, what we found in the early work with this is that we could get stem cells that were in the body, let's say people over the age of 60, and get them to behave like younger, healthier cells. So we did these studies at the National University of Ireland at the Regenerative Medicine Institute. Uh, and uh, yeah, effectively what we found was that uh, stimulating stem cells was with this device was equivalent to an injection of stem cells. So that that was the first time. Wow, it's non-invasive. Totally non-invasive. Wow. That was the first time we found that you didn't have to get a stem cell injection. You could energetically 
um, activate the stem cells already in the body and get them uh, to behave and, and repair damaged tissue. So that's really exciting to me that you can have it be non-invasive. That's it. Okay. So now everyone's going to email you and go, David, can I have one of those? <laughs> right. And uh, by the way, do you sell the Faraday cage as well that I can sit in? Right. So I don't have the 5G around me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, we've gotten, uh, I'd say, you know, good news, bad news for us was that we invested um, $4.3 million over the 10 years into this research, got over 70 patents, and we'll probably never market those products because, mm -hmm. you know, inventors are going to find better ways to do things. And 10 years is a lot of time uh, to come up with new ideas. So uh, I think what I'd say is we found uh, better ways to do this uh, oh. in the convenience of your own home. Wow, that's kind of yeah. exciting. Um, so, exciting. yeah. Uh, now, uh, you obviously have invented many, many, many things. Uh, of course, the ones that I know the best are the phototherapy patches. So these patches are medical speak, non-transdermal, meaning the things you know the the ingredients do not go through the patch into the body. Because uh, some people they're just so used to a transdermal patch or pill. They ask us questions like, oh, can I can I use this patch with medication or that kind of thing, not understanding how it works. So maybe you could back us up a little bit and share like what is a phototherapy patch and how does it work? Yeah. So most phototherapy is going to do uh, work with an active device. Uh, you know, we call them cold lasers or LED panels. Uh, but basically, the idea is that you want to stimulate the surface of the skin. Uh, it's one method, right? You also have the nasotubes that apply phototherapy that way. Uh, but the majority of the time, there's some type of uh, LED panel that is going to, or laser that's going to stimulate the surface of the skin and produce an effect. And depending on the wavelength that's being used, uh, which could be infrared, visible light, UV, uh, we'll get some type of effect. So this is called photobiomodulation. And uh, a good way for people to think about it is you go in the sun, sunlight elevates vitamin D. So that's a very good example how light can turn on a biochemical process in the body. And since uh, I turned 60 this year, and most men are interested in, uh, in keeping their testosterone levels elevated naturally, an example that I also use is men going out in the sun without their shirts on, uh, and the uh, you stimulate the androgen receptors with UV light, and it naturally elevates testosterone. So no drugs needed. That's we're gonna have a lot of topless men running around. I think after the year. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, a lot of topless men that are white in their sixties with low testosterone levels. That's that's not a pretty sight. Uh, so, you know, and so, you know, we got to work on those things. Uh, so, okay. That's yeah. great. Now you have created uh, several different kinds of patch and I know that you've invented more patches than have been, you know, obviously available. Uh, you number your patches, right? So um, yeah. we have uh, two of the patches that actually still kept their number. That's X39 and X49 and they're considered the flagship product of the company. So can you tell us about, you know, what, what they are and why they're so important? Yeah. So X39, we released in 2018 and it was culminating the uh, research that we had done on stem cell activity. So basically, you know, with this active electronic device, uh, it it's uh, to get it through regulatory, to make the kind of claims you want. It's got to be used by a doctor in a hospital. Um, that's not something that's going to be available or affordable to most people. So the idea is how could we support uh, overall health and vitality in the body? How could we help improve recovery, support uh, immune health, support quality of sleep? How could we do all of these things? How could we, how could we learn uh, based on the stem cell research and make it available to everybody and make it be affordable? So uh, basically uh, this device works on low frequency electromagnetic fields. So I started working with active uh, electronic devices that could produce wavelengths of light that would turn on mechanisms that are associated with stem cell activity. 
So one of the, uh, the, the most important thing that I did was using uh, active light sources to elevate copper peptide and then, um, and then translating that into a passive device, which you could apply to your skin and uh, for supporting all overall health and wellness. So that's what X39 is. Uh, what we've documented in our research is that X39 has very, very favorable outcomes uh, when we measure the blood and urine. And when we look at athletic performance, uh, quality of sleep, overall uh, vitality, dramatic, uh, dramatic improvements. Uh, we did a study with Dr. Uh, Gaetan Chevalier uh, uh, and, uh, you know, brilliant guy. And we found that cognition improves. Uh, when you use X39. So, th so that would be the most important product for people to start with since it covers so many benefits. Mm, is it, so is it sort of like the, the generalist in terms of, you know, X49, the next patch that you created seems to be more of a specialist. Yes, I, that would be a good way to put it. So the, so the research uh, that I looked into, the, the foundational work to give them credit, is Dr. Lauren Picard, uh, incredible guy. Uh, he certainly should win a Nobel Prize for his discovery of uh, copper peptide. Uh, and one of the things uh, that he spent time on was AHKCU. So uh, mm. GHKCU is uh, ubiquitous, uh, found throughout the entire body. It's known as copper peptide and it's been used in cosmetics for many years. And AHK is also used in cosmetics but as you say, it's way more specific. So we see uh, AHK because it's based on alanine will accumulate in tissues uh, like the brain, the heart, uh, skeletal muscle uh, in the skin. And uh, you know what we found out with our research into AHK is that um, it definitely will improve uh, the quality of the skin and it'll improve athletic performance it'll improve bone density, but uh, the usual method of administration is gonna be injection or as a topical cream. So most people aren't gonna wanna give themselves uh, injections, right, of any of these peptides or anything. And so the, one of the advantages of light therapy is that we can stimulate the skin with very low levels of light. And then when we do our studies, we see, oh yeah, we can use this method to uh, improve athletic performance, improve cardiovascular health, and improve cognition. Mm, that's interesting. Well, you know, a lot of people these days are very concerned about their heart health and perhaps even uh, the health of their blood vessels. I know that sounds very specific, but but they're concerned that there's damage to the blood vessels given you know stuff that's going on in the world, and and perhaps yeah. they they took a medication that that might have had a side effect. Uh, are, you know, are these AHK or GHK going to be helpful at all to not just the brain or the heart, but the actual blood vessels? Well, this was recorded uh, prior to convention uh, that LifeWave is having in Orlando. And actually, my product training is all about, at convention, is all about heart health. Mm. And uh, so I'm going to be spending a considerable amount of time addressing uh, when people have heart disease, they want to prevent heart disease, exactly, you know, what methods are available. So as an example, uh, we know that vitamin D is strongly correlated to arterial stiffness and health. So when people uh, age and uh, their vitamin D levels go down, uh, or, you know, as a consequence of aging, we see the arteries become stiff. And so um, endothelial function decreases, circulation decreases, and just simply by taking vitamin D, uh, you can in, improve uh, arterial health. Of course, there's a lot more uh, that goes with that. But uh, one of the things uh, that uh, I've covered at convention are going to be natural ways to lower blood pressure very, very rapidly, ways to remove arterial plaque, natural ways for improving circulation, and of course, uh, talking about which patches have we shown in studies uh, that are going to prove uh, that are going to improve cardiovascular health, and there, that is going to include X thirty nine. Mm, okay. Oh, that's great. Well, having been to many many conventions, and of course, 
like you said, we're recording this prior to convention, so we're not going to give away anything here, even though it's after convention by the time people uh, hear this, is that I really appreciate uh, the holistic nature of, of your talks. In fact, I think uh, I could, on behalf of the my whole team anyway, that they look forward to you and they look forward to your talk. And uh, just it's not just about sell, sell, sell the, our products the greatest, you know, because uh, right. that can happen at conventions. But it, I don't think it's ever happened in LifeWave because you are so committed to the health and wellness holistically of everyone. Uh, and so, you know, I think I giggle a little bit when you talk about exercise, because half the room starts going, oh, no, he's going to talk about exercise. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, yeah. yes, David. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, well, you're, you're certainly, you and James are, you know, at the elite level extreme. Oh, I wouldn't say elite, but thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a crazy person that loves to be in the gym an hour and a half and loves exercise. But yeah, you know, uh, I, I really like Peter Atiyah's work. Um, I don't know if you're, you follow him or not, but um, he so he's a medical doctor. And uh, so he's correlated uh, some very, very interesting data. But the net end effect is that if you're exercising or let's say you're you're at an elite level uh, uh, as an athlete, which, you, you know, obviously you and James are uh, that. Um, you, your risk of cardiovascular disease is about five times less than someone at the other end of the spectrum. And if you're at a lower, if you're at the 25th percentile or lower, and you even work your way up to the 50th percentile, uh, you're, you're going to, to dramatically reduce your risk of heart disease. So the net end conclusion is that there are no drugs that exist that are as beneficial as the benefits that we get from exercise. So it would be irresponsible uh, not to share that message with people. You know, it would be, I, I had a, a spike in my blood pressure uh, after getting COVID. And uh, so once I had the spike protein in me, I was like, okay, I need to get this out. I'm going to use natokinase. I'm going to thank God that I got COVID and I found this solution. Uh, thank you, Peter McCullough. And, uh, and uh, I'm going to share that with people. So, you know, I, I like to look at this as uh, be thankful for some of the tragedies in my life and challenges so I can share the solutions uh, with our community. Mm, that's exactly how I feel about, you know, my life as well. Sometimes as a sense of soul and empathic person, I get to feel other people's stuff. And even though that may not be healthy for the grand majority of sensitive souls, but occasionally it's because there's a mission involved. Right. Yep, yeah, absolutely. there's something I needed to know in order to help others. And so I can take the hit. It's not really a hit, but, you know, I can take the empathic message uh, and then distill it down, investigate, figure out the solution and then share the solution. So you and I are very similar that way. You know, yeah, we're I love that spiritual investigator and you're, you know, <laughs> all the other yeah. kinds, kinds of investigators. So that's really cool. Um, yeah. So I want to ask you if you, now you have obviously the newer generation patch, X39, X49, um, and then you have some of the patches that I started out with, you know, Energy Enhancer, and then Silent Nights, Ice Wave, Eon, one of my favorites still for stress and inflammation, Glutathione for immune uh, support, um, and for detoxification support, Alavita, Nirvana, SP6 Complete, Carnosine. So <laughs> there's a lot of patches there. So we're curious, like how, like, how do you advise people to, how do they start? How do they choose which patch to use and, and that kind of thing? If they were brand new. Yeah, if they're brand new, I would say definitely start with X39 and then, uh, you know, use that for the first month and uh, just be aware of what results that you're getting. Take a uh, photo before you start, uh, fill out, a, you know, a questionnaire, which to self-assess the quality of your sleep energy, you know, you get tired at three o'clock in the afternoon, what time you go into bed, what's the quality of your sleep, uh, these kind of things, and then see how you're doing after 30 days. That that would not be a bad way to start. Uh, but then, um, you know, look at what are some of the challenges. We all have challenges, you know, that we deal with in our life. And I would say um, work with your healthcare practitioner and make sure that you have all the the foundation taken care of. So, you know, we don't always have the chance to eat the best. Uh, so what is your diet like? Are you supplementing the fill in the holes? Are you exercising, getting a good night's sleep, uh, drinking enough water? 
uh, have that really strong, solid foundation in place, and then look at the patches as a tool uh, to help support you know, your overall goals and objectives. So <clears throat> the next one that I would add would be Eon uh, because it's a very powerful uh, anti-inflammatory. And, um, and even now in the literature, it's referred to as inflammaging, uh, meaning right. this recognition that um, we're, we're going to have an, a slow progressive increase in inflammatory markers as we age. And uh, I, I don't really like that term because it, it seems like then that uh, this, this is inevitable and we just have to kind of deal with it and it really isn't. So uh, an overall good strategy is that if someone is just looking for health, wellness, X39, the back of the neck, Eon below the belly button, or if someone's having a problem with their shoulder, with their knee, back pain, they can put Eon right at the point of that discomfort, and uh, and that will work extremely well. So that would be, I would say, a good protocol to start with. Okay, great. Well, you probably know my story about when the Eon came out. Um, oh, yes. A guy a guy came into the office and he wanted to decalcify his pineal gland. I said, well, I really don't know how to do that, <laughs> but let me do some tests on you. So we did some testing, just simple muscle testing and found that his uh, brain and, and autonomic nervous system were completely dysregulated, like frozen. And I said, uh, by any chance, because I didn't know the man, by any chance have you had a hit to the head? And he goes, Oh, you mean the two comas I had? <laughs> oh my God. And at the time I was using energy enhancer patches, you know, and glutathione here is kind of a meditative uh, protocol. Yeah. Um, and I, I ran out in the office, I didn't have any, and all I had was this new patch, Eon. And I said, uh, can, I, can I just test you on these? I go, sure. And so I thought, okay, well, I'm just gonna put it on key acupuncture points on the head. So I put it, you know, here and then here behind the right ear, you know, certain acupuncture back of the neck. Wouldn't you know, three out of those five areas, he completely brain balanced. His his autonomic wow. nervous system within seconds just went and was functioning. And I was like, this is incredible. And he goes, oh, and Doc, and he takes off his hat. He's bald. He goes, you put one right here, right here. <laughs> That's where I had mine uh, earlier today. I was feeling a mass consciousness. I was a little down the other day. So I was like, okay, I'm putting it right on the bliss point here. Um, and, and he, two weeks later, he came back and, and of course he had anything wrong with him. So I was like, well, do you notice anything? He goes, yeah, I'm, I, I get along with people better. Wow. I was like, that's okay. incredible. Yeah. And then he goes, and I'm luckier. And I'm like, okay. But I just wrote it down. I didn't think much of it, but then I kept hearing things like that. So I'm thinking when the autonomic nervous system is settled and in homeostasis, it's almost like that aha or that zone, we can get mm -hmm. into the zone better. The stress response isn't there, the inflammation's down, and perhaps, you know, that is shifting our energy, shifting our uh, law of attraction, if you will. <laughs> yeah, that's so, yeah. yeah, it was very, very interesting. So I, the single Eon patch completely, on, you know, shifted in my personal clinical experience, because we can't make any claims here, but, you know, shifted the experience. And I started using that with especially my patients that were not getting results from acupuncture or supplements or anything else I was trying. Uh, and when their autonomic nervous system started calming down and started regulating again, instead of being stiff, all of a sudden they started responding to everything else that I was giving them. Yeah, you know, uh, I know you remember uh, Tom Budzinski. Yes. And uh, incredible, uh, really great guy, just truly a, a pleasure to be with. Uh, and uh, brilliant researcher. And so we, we had the privilege of doing a number of uh, studies with him. And uh, so uh, he was, of course, at the product launch of uh, Eon uh, talking about exactly that. He was using a piece of equipment uh, by Thought Technology for monitoring the autonomic nervous system. And uh, what he said it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was incredible. Uh, we saw that uh, people that were parasympathetically driven, they came up to balance. And of course, as you would expect, somebody that's in a sympathetic drive, they're going to also go down into a state of balance. So he found it very interesting that even if somebody was in a parasympathetic state, yes. and bring it back to balance. And um, at first I thought, well, this doesn't sound like a good thing. And he's like, no, you know, if you're in parasympathetic mode too long, it actually depresses immune function. I was like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, of course, you know, that makes sense. 
So uh, yeah, the, the uh, studies that we've done validate exactly what you've just said. Yeah, that's really neat. And and sometimes when people are in a kind of a deep healing state, they'll go into that parasympathetic. And that's yeah. not necessarily bad, but occasionally right. it can be really too much. Like they're so profoundly tired, they can't function. Yeah. And that's where it would be really helpful to have a tool to help us kind of rebalance and, and you know, detox maybe a little bit uh, easier, gentler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't be Mariah Carey and sleep for 12 hours a day. You know, uh, that, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. was there before when I was really sick. I would I would sleep for 14 hours a day and feel like crap after I woke up. So I was, yeah, I was pretty yeah. You know, I wish I could share that message with her because you know she's know. such an incredible talent. But yet, uh, you know, she is. Uh, what I've read and heard is that she tends to sleep 11, 12, 13 hours a day, and the long term uh, consequences of that are are going to be very, very bad. Um, she's she's increasing her risks of uh, things like cancer and uh, autoimmune diseases, uh, osteo-rheumatoid arthritis, and so forth. So I hope she gets that message from someone. Yeah, well, you never know who knows who. So maybe we'll get that never message know. to her. Yeah. yeah, you never know. Well, we'd love, oh, well, we don't have time to go through all the patches and what they do. There's different, you know, different teachings and trainings. I certainly do a lot of teaching online around that. But we would like to know, David, what are your favorite patching combinations and why? Yeah, so uh, generally, I don't suffer with pain. Uh, and, and so we've developed, as you know, uh, thanks to you and uh, all the extraordinarily talented people uh, that you work with, uh, you, you know, your network of practitioners um, are, are really phenomenal. Shout out to Gretchen Yui too, by the way, who's incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, but yeah, you know, so I don't normally suffer with pain, uh, but the good news is, is there's many, many protocols for dealing with that. So uh, the type of things that I think about um, would be how to best optimize mitochondrial function, how to manage inflammation, how to support detoxification, um, and so energy enhancer is still a daily part of my regimen. Um, I will use a five element protocol to move that, uh, between different points to stimulate the meridians each day in sequence. Uh, I tend to, on the weekends, uh, apply them to, uh, kidney one, uh, mm. or, uh, stomach 36, uh, but almost always uh, kidney one. Uh, with the convention and, you know, very, very long work days, I'll use two sets of energy patches, one on the lower torso, one on the upper torso, uh, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, X39 during the day, back of the neck, X49 below the belly button. And then at night, um, my go-to is Eon. Uh, I'll tend to apply Eon to the side of the neck. Uh, if there's any points of tension, I'll apply it there or to the right temple. Um, and that is the general protocol that I use. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll use uh, carnosine and glutathione uh, on the weekends. Mm -hmm. uh, or if I'm experimenting with a new patch, I'll try to work that into the routine. Uh, right now, I do have another patch in the works. It's not out of research yet. Um, and so it, in terms of what I've incorporated into my personal life, that's a new invention, is something that we will be releasing in the not too distant future. It is a, uh, it's a new technology for age reversal. Although when we come out with it, we won't be able to make that claim. So months before we release it, when we're not selling anything, I'll tell people what it really does. Then so when we release it, we're selling it, then people know what it does, because we'll never be able to say what it really does. Oh, okay. I was wondering how you're going to get around all of that regulatory, you oh, know, red awful. tape. Yeah, no, it's, it's awful. I, you know, I've gone through this with regulatory already and, you know, they've said, well, you know, you obviously can't say these things. Uh, we, <laughs> we did our first human pilot study. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the, the results were really mind blowing. Um, I think mm. the one thing that I would say you as an athlete, uh, what we saw was uh, protein synthesis a hundred times higher than baseline. 
Wow. Wow. And, James would be real happy to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's well, yeah. And, and, and uh, muscle protein synthesis, all the amino acids that are used to repair muscle tissue skyrocketed. So the, so the challenge is we have this really powerful tool. Uh, the question is, how do you optimize it? Um, mm. You know, other than connecting people to IV bags of amino acids and other things, uh, how do you, uh, how do you get the, you know, the best result with it. So mm. uh, that's, so that's what we're looking at now, but that's going to be something that will be available to people in the uh, not too distant future. Oh, that's exciting. Now, do you, because you mentioned about convention and just, you know, the, the long work days and let me tell you guys, definitely long work days for David. He keeps a smile on his face all day. I don't know how he does it because <laughs> even I get, I'm, I'm really good mood, but I, even I get irritable after 10 hours of, of fielding questions. Um, so do you like when you fly, like, like on, uh, not that you'd have to fly here because you live there, but when you fly to Europe and all these other trips, do you actually add uh, patches to your regimen? for protection, yeah, radiation so, or anything? Yeah, because of the radiation issue, uh, I will definitely fly with uh, X39, X49. Uh, I'll work sometimes glutathione and carnosine into that. Uh, I'll take antioxidants uh, at least twice during a long flight uh, just to kind of cover the bases because I am you know, concerned about that. And then um, you, know, you develop different strategies for adapting to the time change. Sometimes it's fine, uh, but you know, it's quite normal for me is to be awake for about 30 hours uh, wow. during, during transit. And um, so I sometimes I'll take like 60 milligrams of melatonin. Sometimes I'll just put two pairs of Eon or Eon and Silent Nights. And I've done that. Really, so uh, yeah, all, all these, I, I like to experiment too and try different things to see what works to reset the body clock. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, uh, I love what I do. I feel extraordinarily blessed. I'm very grateful for everything, you know, that I have in my life. And it's just, uh, there, there's things that we're doing that are really world changing. Mm -hmm. And if someone were to come in, I, I've had engineers uh, come into our lab to see what we're doing. And quite literally, the comments that we'll get is what you're showing me is technically not physically possible. And I said, but there it is. <laughs> and I, I did this meeting in um, Europe and I had a, uh, I'll leave his name out of it, but I had a professor from Southern Danish University sitting next to me and uh, I was giving a presentation and he laughs at one point in the presentation. And he said, you know what you just said is impossible, right? And uh, I said, yeah, I know that. That's, that's why I brought a sample with me. So I pulled it out of my bag and he looked at this thing and uh, he, he was you know, playing around with it a little bit. And he said, oh my God, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's exciting. Well, I wish I could be like a, a fly on the wall or just maybe just a fly on your shoulder, like here. So I can just check out every, everywhere you go, just to see what cool stuff you're doing and what other people are saying. Well, I will say this, you know, since this is after convention now, people that went to convention or saw it online, uh, saw Star Trek level technology. Uh, we're bringing several different things uh, from the lab. Uh, you know, I like to use convention as an opportunity to uh, go to the next level and share things that we don't get a chance to do uh, virtually like this. And, uh, you know, people travel from other countries, uh, you know, they spend money. So I, I feel that we really need to go above and beyond and give people an experience that's way, way more than what they expect. And uh, I think this one's going to be incredible. It's certainly, it, it's our biggest convention ever, over 3,000 people. Oh, wow. That is that is great. Well, yeah. I don't know. Compared to last year, where you literally blew us all away, I think it was like a standing ovation. I'm not talking about, you know, some people like, oh, it was so great. You know, no, 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 guys, seriously. <laughs> uh, I, I, the humanitarian efforts, because that's where my heart is. It was just like, I was crying. You know, I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> this is so amazing. Oh my gosh. So our, our time is coming to a close, David. Uh, would love some, maybe some words of wisdom from you before you depart. Yeah. I think what I'd say is uh, we're all going to face 
challenges in life. Uh, it's inevitable. Uh, there are dark forces in this world. Uh, just getting through life, uh, you know, having enough money, uh, dealing with different illness, uh, problems that loved ones, family members go through. Uh, you know, life can be very, very overwhelming. Uh, but the good news is that there's always hope. Uh, turn to God, have a daily life of prayer, uh, have a life, you know, that's focused on maintaining your health. Uh, and uh, speak to people in our community that are so willing uh, to help others and provide solutions. So I think um, people that are listening, if they're dealing with struggles, just know that there's people there out there that care. God is there. Never give up uh, because mm. there's always answers. There's always solutions. Mm, yes. And I believe that too. And with every challenge, we become even more innovative, more creative and more actually closer to God's source in, in that creation and uh, becoming uh, closer to each other as well, you know, in community and connection. So I, I know you really, really um, help us with that as well. It's really important to you. So, so David, thank you so much. I want to make sure that everybody knows that uh, David Schmidt, lifewave.com. You can learn more about David there or the company lifewave.com. If you need specific help or is brand new to you, you're not sure where to turn. You can always email my staff at support at karencan.com and we'll lead you to the right direction there. So David, thank you so, so much for your time. Thank you, Dr. Karen. It's been a pleasure. My pleasure too. Thanks everyone for listening in on Light Warrior Radio. Until next time, toodaloo and lots of love to you guys. Bye everyone.